Hi, I'm Colin. And um, I was going to ask you a question. Are there things that you can control? I know there are a lot of things that we can't control. We can't change them. But the, there are a lot of things that you know, we can control. And in fact, I wanted to show you something. I've got my phone here. It's amazing what phones can do nowadays. I, I'll show you. I can control my garage door. Uh, this one. Garage door. Uh, let me see. Up. Good. Okay. Garage door down. It's good, isn't it? Okay. Garage door down. And garage door up. Amazing. What else can I control? Um, I can control... Oh, the... It's, Air conditioner, it's a bit hot in here, so uh, air conditioner on. <sighs> ah. A bit colder. That's, that's, no, that's getting, it's getting a bit cold. Uh, air conditioner warmer. W warmer, warmer, warmer. Ah. It's, oh. oh, stop, turn air conditioner off. Ah, stopped it, very good. Um, I know, I'll use Silly. Silly's quite handy. Hey Silly. Turn on the television. Ding, ding. Turning television on. All right, so you can hear it. Hey, silly, turn the television up. Silly, turn the television down. Thank you, silly. That's enough. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just remembered. Hey, silly, remind me to buy eggs. <laughs> what? There is a lot that we can control and a lot that we cannot control. But I wonder, do you know who controls everything? Who knows all things and nothing takes him by surprise? I think you know the answer. God. And in fact, there's a, there's a Bible verse about that. Psalm 90 verse 2 says, From everlasting to everlasting, forever and ever, you are God. Now, I want to sing a song called Nothing Takes God by Surprise, because nothing does. All right, here we go. In the beginning, God spoke a word, and that's how the world began. And every moment till the end of time is part of his wonderful plan. No, no, who? That's your bit. Nothing takes God by surprise. No, no, who? That's it. He is sovereign. He's in control. Nothing takes God by surprise. No, no, no. Right. Good bits, the bad bits, and all of your life. No matter what. to chance. That's why we call him Lord. Because nothing takes God by surprise. No, no. Who? <laughs> nothing takes God by surprise. No, no. Who? No, no, knowing. 
Now, I thought of something else, something from the Bible, because God is in control. And Jesus, God's son, says something wonderful to his people in Revelation, in the book of Revelation. I've got my Bible here. It's another part of the Bible to read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 18. Jesus says to his frightened people, I am the living one. I was dead and now look. I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death. Whoa, how precious. Did you notice that Jesus said that his people had to do something? They had to look. Yes, that's right. And when they looked, they could see that Jesus, who used to be dead, was alive. That's right. So we look to God and that life that he lives becomes our life by faith. So look to God and believe and look to God in his word. That's so important. We should do that all the time. And look to God by praying to him. We need to learn to stop what you're doing and pray to Jesus. Stop what you're doing and pray to Jesus. Stop what you're doing and pray to Jesus. Mighty, mighty Jesus. When you're laughing, (laughs) pray to Jesus. When you're crying, (laughs) pray to Jesus. When you're bored, whatever pray to Jesus mighty mighty Jesus when you're noisy noisy ah! pray to Jesus when you're cranky cranky pray to Jesus when you're hmm, naughty Pray to Jesus, mighty, mighty Jesus. When you're hurting, pray to Jesus. When you're frightened, pray to Jesus. When you're... When you're sleepy... Sorry. Pray to Jesus, mighty, mighty Jesus. There's a chorus. Big, big, good, good, mighty, mighty Jesus. Big, big, good, good, mighty, mighty Jesus. Big, big, good, good, mighty, mighty Jesus. Mighty, 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 mighty Jesus. He's mighty and he's good. How precious. And we should pray to him right now. Let's stop what we're doing and pray to Jesus. Will you pray with me? I close my eyes to help me think about what I'm saying. Our dear Lord and Saviour Jesus, our dear mighty, mighty God, we praise you because you are from everlasting to everlasting. You are the first and the last. Nothing takes you by surprise. Mighty Jesus, you died, and look, you rose again. Help us to look by faith, to look at your word, and to look in prayer. We pray all these things in our Saviour, Jesus' name. Amen. I like that verse in that last one. When you're sleepy, pray to Jesus. Wait a minute. Hey, Siri, I've fallen asleep.